So just a precursor to this video, I haven't planned anything. <laughs> like that's new. We're just going to fiddle fart around and hope it works out. I'm going to spray it down real good with vegetable oil spray. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Since we're experimenting, let's make it concoction. All right, so we're going to add some vegetable oil. We're going to add some butter flavor, whatever that is. We're just going to go down the list of oils. We're going to use, we're going to use some olive oil. Just splash Girl, it. stop. Um, and then we're going to use, it's going to be really oily. We're going to use some vegetable oil. Just, well, I already used that vegetable oil, but it's a different texture. My hands are so oily. Where's my little brusher? I don't know where my brusher is. We're going to just splish, splash it around. I really wanted to keep this first video of this Willet Crock-Pot thing I got going on simple. So I used just the, the rolled up pizza crust, not homemade. Technique, it's all in the technique. All right. What we're gonna do is, we're just gonna unfold it like so. <laughs> <laughs> Flop it and then just poke it with your fingers. <laughs> My hands were so oily from all the from the oil concoction that I couldn't even get this jar open. <laughs> The best way that I found to spread your sauce is to just tilt your crock pot back and forth. Oops. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get more cheese. Hold on, let me fish some out of here. Sprinkle it. Ew. So ideally, <laughs> You would use mozzarella. I didn't have mozzarella because I'm never prepared, but I just popped some sharp cheddar in there and um, tossed, literally tossed, some pepperoni on top. Although if I decide to make this again, I will add some like onions, bell pepper, some sausage. I'll go all out. All right. All right, so I'll be back in a little while to see if this will in fact crop so I cooked this on high for two and a half hours. I was pleasantly surprised. It works. It actually works. It actually tastes like pizza. It doesn't look like pizza, but it tastes like pizza. It's like a pizza lasagna. Will it crock pot? Will it crock pot? Um, depending on if presentation is a thing for you, because obviously the dough cooked. I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but it, it's cooked. It's a little bit, yeah, it's cooked. Um, so will it crock pot? Yes. Should you crock pot it? Yes. Could I have plated it better? Yes. <laughs> so I want to keep this simple because honestly, like this is out of my comfort zone. I'm no, I'm no scientist and I'm no chef. So when you merge the two, two things that neither I'm really good at, <laughs> um, I didn't know what to expect. Next week, this was simple. This week was simple, but next week we're gonna see if a homemade pop tart recipe will crock pot. And I say that because I just now thought of it. <laughs> So, surprise! <laughs> so next week we're gonna see if a homemade pop tart recipe will crock pot. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at.